This is the Hi-Fi wireless speaker I built in my latest video. I've truly never heard anything that sound is good before, but I am sure it could be better. As I said in the build video, it lacks a bit of bass extension and punchiness, due to the lack of a subwoofer. That's what we are gonna fix in this video by building a wireless, standalone hi-fi subwoofer to truly take the speaker to the next level, allowing it to reach a deep bass below 30Hz, compared to the 55Hz that it can now reach, improving punchiness and clarity. I really can't wait to hear this upgrade, so let's start building it. Before continuing, I want to thank KissFan for sponsoring this video. KissFan is the leader shop for product keys, where you can get amazing deals on a wide selection of products. With my code DUDS50, you can get 50% off site-wide. That means Windows 10 Pro for just 8 euros and Windows 11 Pro for just 13 euros. The purchasing procedure is very simple and you will get your product key instantly in your inbox, as soon as you complete the payment with all the standard payment methods. They offer 24-7 customer support to answer all of your questions and provide an amazing service worth checking out. Back to the build, first of all we need a driver. Like in my previous build, I asked the Sound Imports Tech Department for help and they were very happy to give me a suggested design and driver to nicely complement the sound style I'm looking for. They suggested a peerless SLS P830668 subwoofer driver in an 80 to 160 liter enclosure. 160 liter is absolutely massive, so I opted for an 80 liter enclosure also because it should fit perfectly in this cabinet that I have beside my TV. This subwoofer will in fact be stationary and will wirelessly pair to the speaker using another really cap to stream mono amplifier board, to allow for seamless wireless synchronization between the speaker and the subwoofer, using the first stream up, removing the need for any cables and allowing to still carry the speaker on the go, sacrificing the subwoofer in favor of the smaller size. This subwoofer enclosure will in fact be quite massive, coming in at a size of 65 by 45 by 35 cm, and can be constructed using 80mm plywood sheets to maximize rigidity. This time, due to the huge size, I made the design as simple as possible. It's just a simple box that can be easily constructed by cutting the various rectangular panels using a circular saw. With the panels cut, I proceeded with gluing them together using a bunch of screws to clamp the pieces together, also ensuring straightness. Before moving on to sanding, I also added the central brace to maximize rigidity, once again due to the big size of the box. With the box assembled, we can move on rounding the corners, smoothing out the radius with an angle grinder. With the box nice and sanded, I finished its look by adding some oak wood veneer making its look really pop, matching also the aesthetic of the speaker very nicely. Before installing the driver, a hole needed to be drilled in the back side of the enclosure to allow the cables to pass through it and be connected to the amplifier. This will be located in a recess in the back of the enclosure to keep it accessible while remaining hidden away. After sealing the hole with some hot glue, we can stuff the enclosure with the proper amount of Acousta Stuff polyfill dampening fibers to improve sound quality, before moving on installing the driver itself, completing this build. Before testing the subwoofer, I wanted to thank again Sound Imports for supporting this project, providing all the components needed. Sound Imports is the leading hi-fi DIY speaker store. It provides every component imaginable regarding speaker building with great prices and amazing customer care and support. You can find a link to their website in the description below. With this subwoofer completed, we can finally see how good it looks in conjunction with the speaker. The look matches perfectly and the rounded seamless corner give it an extra premium look. The driver looks amazing in contrast with the wood color, with its edges nicely tapering toward the wooden panel, with a nice transition between the two. As always, looks are important, 
but I are insignificant without considering sound quality. And let me tell you, I didn't believe my ears. It goes so deep that you start to feel the music with your body rather than your ears. It is a small and very subtle addition that made all the difference. It's one of those things which are barely noticeable by themselves, but essential for a complete sound experience. It adds the very needed bass extension the speaker was lacking, providing a smooth uh, frequency response down to below 30 Hz. Considering that previously the speaker already got down to around 50 Hz, the difference was really unbelievable. The extra 20 Hz of extension made the music noticeably more complete, allowing to truly represent the sound as the artist intended to. Thanks again to KissFan and Sound Imports for supporting this project. Consider subscribing and joining my Patreon to support my work. That's it for this video, I will see you in the next one!